correct. And then Kathy checks her email. <laughs> All right, recording. Uh, welcome to the final uh, Parker Spotlight Sprint demo. I'm excited to share with you this week uh, the advances the team made in a short week. I think only three days out of the five last week. And uh, some of the kind of user facing updates. So the first one I want to talk about are some uh, enhancements to the way a user can um, access page details. So for instance here, I'm going to go uh, click on this page detail. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that you're immediately taken to a correct page or canvas uh, when you go from a search result into um, the page detail view. So, you know, so here I am at P1, which is, you know, not necessarily the first image here, where previously I would have just been taken to the first image here. You can also see that immediately um, highlighted and open on a page are the annotations. So no need to turn these back on, but these will just automatically come up. <clears throat> Another cool advancement is we'll see here on the, uh, up at the top, uh, we've integrated a Mirador plugin that allows you to na quickly navigate pages. So instead of scrolling through thumbnails on the bottom, if I know I wanna go to page 29, I can uh, select that and it'll take me to page 29 and uh, you know, be able to view uh, any annotations on that page. So another update here on this page is uh, the way the manuscript uh, that this is related to is linked. Uh, there was a bug here where this wasn't displaying appropriately and we've uh, made some changes and fixed this. So now, you know, I can see that this page is in the manuscript uh, Baldwin of Ford and I can click that and immediately be taken uh, to that manuscripts page. And you'll see we start on the first image, uh, not the first, you know, not the page, but previously, but we can also, you know, use the navigation here uh, like we could on the other page. Uh, some additional updates to note are um, some changes in the way that we've um, updated the imprint and the date to be displayed. Um, as well as some other metadata enhancements. So uh, last week we showed uh, when you click on view all metadata, um, there is just kind of some blobs of metadata there. <clears throat> uh, this week we've refined the way that that's uh, displayed to the user. So we've changed the way that this, this is styled to more uh, kind of reflect some consistency with our other environments. We've also added this access conditions uh, section here at the bottom. So we can see the use and reproduction statement, as well as a license and a link to the license if it's, link, if it's already linked. Um, I mentioned the, um, mentioned the updates to the date and imprint indexing, and I didn't have an example to show you directly uh, from that exhibit, so I added one to this uh, other exhibit. So we can see here that uh, we've added in the date qualifiers, um, and also a date range. So we can see we, uh, this is from 1390 to 1410, and that's shown there. Um, and then that same information, uh, you know, if it's in the imprint is also available on the metadata details page. Uh, another thing to note is that uh, previously we would have uh, search fields uh, um, search fields that were uh, specific to the Parker project show up for all exhibits. We've now changed it to where they only show up for exhibits that have been displayed to uh, for them to show up for. So right here in this uh, admin page, we don't see uh, the search fields uh, that we see for Parker, um, you know, just the ones that are supposed to be there for, um, you know, just that are kind of the normal search fields. So those are all the new things that we have to show this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining.